Again, 3D printing is growing exponentially and very, very fast, penetrating our market for more and more of the procedures we do. As Pablo said, the materials are increasing at a very, very fast rate. Lastly, we'd like to share with you the fact that artificial intelligence is really taking over everything we do. Whether we're going to work and we use Google Maps or Waze to find the fastest route, whether we're going up to Skyscanner to check our flights, we're being sent information that has been really learn through machine learning, deep learning, and we're getting that output to solve a lot of the pro problems that we have today. Today we have uh, technologies that allow us to give us a, a second opinion, as the software in this particular case is called, where you have artificial intelligence telling you where it is that you can find decay, where it is that you have calculus, where it is that you see bone loss, and you know, not, not that this is what we have to follow, but it is a second opinion over your shoulder telling you and also communicating to your patient to really figure out whether there's something you've missed or not. And I say missed or not because as dentists, we're not perfect. And if you look at different studies, you can see that in a case like here, 136 dentists that looked at full mouth series of x-rays, when you look at one particular upper molar, 51.5% said that there was decay on the molar, and 48.5% said that there was not. Imagine being on the patient's side here. What is really happening? And now we have AI that's going to tap her shoulder and kind of like raise the level of the dental work that we're doing, because it's going to wake us up, especially those that are not practicing very good dentistry, to be able to make our procedures better and better. Now to conclude, and as I have, or we have one minute left, I'd like to share with you basically a resume of what we've discussed. New technologies and innovations are definitely changing the way that we practice dentistry. We believe that communications through technology helps a great deal to plan our cases more accurately, more precisely, more effectively. These digital tools are adjuncts to the specialist expertise. This is very important to understand. They're not going to, for now, supplement our own knowledge. Most time right now in our day-to-day -day practices is spent in that planning, in that communicative phase, and less time in the execution. We believe, and we're pretty sure about this, that big data will continue to grow. Artificial intelligence will continue to expand to help us and aid us make decisions through processes that are today unheard of. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pablo Ramirez and Jose Manuel Navarro. Impressive talk, impressive kickoff of this session. Here's Florian. Yeah, it was what a perfect start, next? I think. And uh, our next speaker will be uh, Rino Burkhardt from Switzerland. And the question is, uh, is there any evidence uh, which can support effectiveness of communication with our patients? And I think this lecture will address this issue. Rino, take it away. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, dear